Hey guys, Javino here, and uh, as you may or may not know, as of today, February 22nd, Minecraft beta is now in 1.3. And with that update, they added a new piece of redstone circuitry. And uh, it's this thing. Now what this thing does is it replaces a repeater. Like that. And if you don't watch my uh, redstone series or repeater, just uh, repeats the input signal because uh, redstone uh, redstone current can only go 15 blocks. So just put this in between the uh, or right when it ends, and then it'll add it for another 15 blocks. Now all you have to do is just put one of these in between there. Oops, and it does the exact same thing. And it's more often than not, or um, more often than not, it's going to be used to conserve space. Because as you see, this whole uh, one, two, three, four, five, five block block contraption got condensed down to this one block thing. So, yeah, it's gonna make uh, computers be able to be a lot smaller, and just pretty much any variety of circuitry, because most more often than not, circuitry uses these things. Now, another useful feature about it is the fact that when you right-click it, it adjusts the delay. So, uh, this is one delay, two delay, three delay, and four delay. And uh, what the delay does is it just, it's just how much time in between when it uh, updates the output after it receives the input. So I'll show you, this is just regular one delay, like that, two delay. You're not going to notice much of a difference in between the uh, individual delay clicks, but I'll show you the difference between uh, max and min delay at the end. You'll notice a tiny bit of difference. That's three delay, and that's four delay. So uh, four delay, and oops, one delay. delay. It's a bit longer. It's harder to see, but if you want the delay to be bigger, you can just keep adding these things. Like that. So, uh, let's just say we want like 16 delay. Or let's go, since we have 5, let's go with 15 delay. So, 3 delay, 3 delay, 3 delay, 3 and 3. I'll just bring this over so you can see the delay. See, it's a lot longer of a delay. Now, another thing about these, which makes them a lot different than every other piece of redstone circuitry, is they are not multi-directional. And what I mean by that is only one side's the input, and only one side can be the output. And how that works is when you place it, the side facing towards you is always going to be the input, and the side facing away from you is always going to be the output. So uh, I'll just show you that it can't be inputted from the sides or the output, but it can be inputted from the input, obviously. That's the only side it works. And same is true with the output. The output is only the opposite side, it's not either side. So uh, that's useful to some and kind of annoying to others. Probably the biggest reason this is useful is so it doesn't screw with other circuits right beside it because I've had that happen way too much when I'm building my stuff so I'm a fan of it I know my friend over there who's screwing with those in note blocks he doesn't like it so much now if you are uh, watching my redstone videos about my most recent one I think it was about five clocks you'll know that uh, five clock is just a uh, two repeaters and a knot combined. Now that does work with these, but you do need the uh, one knot, the one regular knot, because if you don't have it, there's no actual redstone source. Because these can't be redstone sources; they they just repeat what their input is. So without an input, they can't output anything, no matter how many how many of them you put together. 
So to make a five clock out of these guys, it's actually fairly simple. You just... Also, uh, when you're going around corners, you actually need to put a redstone on the corner, because if you don't, since they're not multi-directional, it just stops the current. This, technically, you can do it with uh, only two. Like this. It's just, uh, you need higher delays on each of these. Because if you watched my other videos, I told you about, ooh, that's not nice. I told you about how if a torch is flashing too fast, it will actually burn out and then just not respawn for five or so seconds. So you need a minimum of a uh, three delay, or else the torch will burn out. You'll see that I have this set to two and this one set to one. So you add that together, that's a three delay, that's why this torch isn't burning out. But as soon as I switch this back to one, the torch is going to burn out because it's flashing too fast. Like that. So you want a three or higher delay on the thing so the torch doesn't burn out. Like that. And there's actually, this is actually faster than a flat five clock because these things update faster. Which is actually extremely useful. And you can also do some pretty interesting things when you make long strings of them, like you can make this Vegas like type effect. Just fun. But yeah, that's about it for the basics on these things. Uh, in a future video, I'll probably show you about uh, more complex uses for them. But for now, see you guys.